Assalamu alaikum my name is Taimur Shikandar welcome back to another Android Studio tutorial today we are going to create the forget password tutorial and uh, we are going to learn how to basically update the password inside the firebase so we have already created the design so uh, let's just go for the demo but before going for the demo I just want to tell you that updating a password is not a big thing it is just a matter of one to two lines but today's tutorial in today's tutorial the importance or the important thing is that uh, the flow we are going to go with so if you skip the flow uh, I think that you are not going to understand what the video is about and what is going to be happened at the end so just uh, watch the video step by step so let's run our application and inside the application let's click on this plus icon and go for the login and uh, now again just remember the flow I am going to press the forget password button and now we have a forget password screen which is asking that please enter the phone number I have updated this from email to phone number as in the previous tutorials I have already explained that we are going with the phone number so make sure that our application is a professional application nobody can hack nobody can do anything so after this country code picker we need to enter the right phone number and it is going to detect that the phone number is valid or not let's suppose we are going to add an invalid phone number which is not in the database and click next and no such user exists error message is appeared that means it is checking from the database and a progress bar is appearing and again it it also has a internet connection check so let's add a valid phone number and hit next okay now we have to wait for the code to arrive and this is the same screen i am using for the password okay the code has arrived and now it has automatically redirected to the new screen basically I am using the same screen the same OTP screen for two purposes to register a new user and also to update users data so how we can manage this it is basically just a simple single trick uh, I'm going to explain in the video so please stay tuned and now here let's open the database and let me add a new password the old password is YouTube and let's just change it to same over here and it is same if it, if it is not going to same it is going to give an error then click on the update and the data has been updated right on your screens and a new success message has appeared so uh, this is what we are going to create but please don't skip any part here uh, it is very simple video but it's just a matter of few minutes so let's just get started open Android studio and we are inside the login screen from where we are going to start this forget password so you can see a forget password button over here so let's go to its split mode and on its on click we are calling the call forget password screens this is basically a function so if we go to the Java file and you can see a function which is call forget password so basically what this is doing this is simply calling the forget password screen using intent close this login because we don't have to do with this forget password screen which will be called from the login so this is this will appear at the start and go to the split mode in here basically I change this to relative mode to add a progress bar uh, as I told you at the start that if you want to create any of the design anything uh, I will drop the link in the description we already created code picker we already created a phone number text fields so let's go to the forget password and let me just show you the flow we have created variables hooks and when user is going to click that button to the next button over here then this is uh, the function which is going to be executed so the first thing we need to check is the internet connection again if you need to create any of the video you can get the link in the description then we have validate video as well we are basically validating the phone number field and we are starting the progress bar uh, we already created a progress bar video as well and then in here we are getting the fields data from the fields and using country code picker we are making it complete phone number after that we create a query to check that if this phone number exists in our database or not if this data or the phone number is not in our data then we are not going to update any password so we will simply show an error but if there is some phone number in our database but we need to confirm that so we will call the verify OTP and we will send a message or the one-time password to the specified phone number so the owner can know that someone 
is trying to steal their password or someone trying to modify it and if there is owner uh, he don't have to worry about it or he and she so inside if the data exists that means if phone number exists we are simply calling the intent and calling the verify otp screen and passing our phone number using intent but here's a twist that we are calling the same verify otp screen for creating a new user and also for updating the password to distinguish it we are going to pass one more thing which is intent dot put extra and in here we need to name it what to do this is basically simply a name and then we need to pass the value let's say it's update data by this means basically we are passing this to distinguish that if the user is coming from the forget password screen trying to update anything in the database or there is a new user and he is trying to create their account so so, uh, this function is going to call the verify otp screen so let's just close the forget password function and we are inside the otp and i have a complete video on how to create a otp tutorial or how to create an otp using firebase in android so in here you can see we have created the hooks for the pin view and we are getting all the fields from so we are getting all the data from intent from previous activity and in this update uh, you can see we are only sending or passing phone number but we are again passing one more thing so open the forget password again and and in here uh, we need this name so let's just copy it and in here press ctrl plus d to duplicate and change this phone number to what to do basically this string uh, we also have to create another string for this so let's just name it what to do here as well so this what to do is going to tell when we have verified everything and in here when the task dot is successful is going to be executed that means our otp is successfully verified from the user using manual or automatic method and in here you uh, you can see in the previous tutorial if you are following you know that we are basically storing new user data in here this is going to call this function and it is just calling the database and storing the function but now instead of directly calling this first we need to create an if what to do dot equals and this what to do is if equal to this thing this is a value update data and if this what to do is equal to update data that means the user is coming from update data and he's trying to update their data instead of store new user so let's create a new function which is update old users data and in the else we can simply call the function which is to store the new user press alt control l to align the code and uh, click on this update old user and click on this bulb and create the method inside this class so the store new user will be called whenever the what to do contains something else but update data and if there is update data in the string that means that user is coming to update their data and in here we need to call the next activity using intent and we need to pass the phone number because on the basis of that phone number we are going to update specific password and we want to move to new password activity set new password dot class and write intent dot put extra and we need to define its key and then value value is going to be phone number itself and this phone number should be complete phone number we have here this is a phone number basically a complete phone number so we are going to pass this to next screen and make sure to start an intent and finish this as well because we don't want to allow the user to again go back to the verify otp screen so make sure you should add a finish so let's just open the set new password okay we have its xml and java file so this is the screen which will be called from the otp so we will allow the user to enter its password and confirm password so go to the java file and when user is going to click on this update button we have the on click method which is set new password button it is going to call this set new password button 
again anything is if anything is confusing related to previous tutorials i will drop the link please go and check the previous tutorials everything will be clear and it is very simple it's not as, as complete complicated as it's look like so don't you don't have to worry about that okay so the first thing we need to again check the internet because we need to deal with the database so if that internet is and again one more thing that i am missing is if you uh, watched my internet connection video i basically created two functions the first one is go to here and say the database i have created another helper class which is check internet and and the first function in previous video i am going to create is this on is connected function and i have just created a new class which is check internet and i pasted the same exact function in here and just change change this context from activity name to context so i will pass the context from each activity like here so i just created a variable check internet instance of this class check internet and then call is connected function as it is returning true or false and if it returns false i am going to show the dialog to connect to internet and if it it is going to return true again i am uh, not asking user anything then we are going for the validated phone number and after that we are showing the progress bar visibility because uh, from here onward database will be processing so now uh, this is the statement or uh, this is the line we need to update uh, to the database so okay so in here we need to define the firebase or to call the firebase so for that we need to create its instance and the reference so let's create it so let's directly create database reference reference is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and inside we need to define the reference which is users so this line is basically going to start pointing to the database dot get instance will start pointing to this firebase database of this project and then inside the database we have bunch of references like users teachers table etc etc and uh, i am telling that okay no uh, not among all the references but specific point to the users reference now my reference is pointing to the users and it contains all the users now i am going to write reference dot child and this child means not all the users but specific users let me show you the database open the browser and in here in the database you can see we have reference users and inside we have bunch of records and now i'm going to tell the system that no not all the records but a point to the specific phone number entered by the user and now we have verified that this user is same who is trying to update their password so we will enter the phone number and system will know that now the system is start pointing to this phone number and now inside this you can see we have again bunch of records and we will tell the system that not all the records but a specific which is password and we need to update this right so you can see uh, we need to provide exactly same exactly same spellings exactly same everything uh, to make sure that our query is perfect now head back to the studio and in here we are going to our references start pointing to all the users but we are going to pass the phone number and now it is pointing to specific phone number and then we are saying that no not all the childs but to specific child of this phone number which is we need to define here is password again again just make sure that it is uh, same spelled password and now uh, we need to set its value set value and what should be the new value uh, basically this password entered by the user is going to be the new password of this specified phone number and it's this field is going to be updated and once it's done we are going to call the next screen start activity new intent we don't have to pass anything so i'm writing directly like start activity new intent and get application context and then forget password success message class dot class and at at the end we need to finish this activity because we don't want the user to again come back to set new password activity so make sure you finish this as well so uh, let's try to run the application okay so our application is running 
let's click on the plus sign at the top and we need to go to the login and in here we have a forget password button right here so click on this and you can see it is asking for the phone number then we need to define the phone number and let's just try to enter the wrong number and wait for a few seconds and you can see it is showing the error that no such user exists in the database this means that user should have to provide the right phone number to update their data so let's hit next and now wait for the code to arrive and the code has arrived and yes we have successfully directed to the new credential screens instead of just string there or creating a new user so let's just open the database and now the password or istemul let's try to add something uh, maybe youtube let's just view it and again we need to make it youtube update you can see the password does not match so match this password and hit update the password updated and again it has been updated inside our database as well and now we have the password updated success message screen so we have successfully updated the password let's go to the login so that's it for uh, today's video this is what we are going to create in this video if you learn something new please like the video and if you're new to the channel please subscribe it uh, you can support the channel the link is in the description below please support it as well so again thank you for watching take care Allah Hafiz